Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I finally have a Kmart haul. So over the whole quarantine period, I did do a few Kmart online shop with me videos and I purchased a few things, but I haven't shown you what I've purchased. So today is the day where I have gathered everything over the last couple of months and look, I've got a bit to show you. So strap yourself in, get excited. I've linked everything down below. The Kmart shelves are like extremely empty at the moment. So I'm not sure if you will be able to get everything if you're interested in it, but I'm pretty sure I saw an update that like mid July, August, the stock should be back. Like everything should be back in full swing and we can all go crazy again. So Anyway, if you're excited for today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't checked out any of my other Kmart videos, I will link my entire playlist down below. Oh, that's a lot of talking. Okay, oh my God, <laughs> where do I start? <laughs> okay, first things first. Another pair of jeans, oh my God. So these jeans are bloody amazing. They are called the Super High Rise Straight Jeans. I picked up a size 10 and they were $20. So I will insert a clip now of me wearing them. What I love about these is number one, how high rise they are. They come way above my belly button, which I freaking love. And secondly, the fit. I feel like I have been looking for a pair of jeans that fit like this for so long and I haven't found anything I like. These are perfect. They're kind of tight but not skin tight around the thighs and then they have more of a straight leg they're not a skinny jean now this style jean is more of a mum jean but if you've gone and tried on mum jeans they can be really tricky like they only suit a certain body type and it's not my body type. So these, they have a lot of stretch to them, so they fit just beautifully and hug the butt, hug the thighs, but as I said, they've got that more straighter fit down the bottom of the leg. I also really love the light wash, and I'm pretty sure they also come in a black. Now, with the sizing, I think it would be better to size down I have kind of put on a little bit of quarantine weight, so the size 10 fits me perfectly, but they're the kind of jeans that you do need to wash them after every one or two wears because they do start to stretch and get loose. So to keep them tight around the waist, you can either size down or just wash them very regularly. You know, like sometimes you have a pile of clothes in your house that are like, they're not dirty enough for the wash, but they're not clean enough for the cupboard. That's what I'm like with jeans. They kind of sit in that random pile for a while. <laughs> Next, I have this beautiful forest green corduroy long sleeve t-shirt. Again, I'll insert a clip so you can see it better. But I did purchase this one online and I got the size 12 because I wanted more of a baggy oversized fit. But I think the fit of it is already baggy and oversized. So I definitely could have gone the 10. The 12 is like really oversized. But I love that it's more of a lightweight corduroy. It's not very heavy and thick. And so how I like to wear it is just button up a few of the buttons in the middle and then leave the rest undone. If I tie it in a knot, it does look just a little bit too much because there is so much fabric because the size doesn't quite fit me. So I just like to leave it unbuttoned and kind of loose with a pair of high-waisted jeans. You can even tuck in one of the sides if you like. I just love an oversized baggy top. I am all about comfort these days and coming into the cooler months, this is just the perfect kind of top and I am just obsessed with the color. It is so freaking beautiful. Another clothing item I picked up in the same color is this beautiful satin midi skirt. <gasps> I haven't had a chance to wear this yet because like we've been stuck in the house, but I'm so excited to wear it. I did pick up this size 10 and it was, it was only $15. What a bargain. And by the way, the corduroy shirt was $18. So anyway, I have had a few of these satin mini skirts from Kmart before and I've always loved them. Really beautiful quality and they sit on the body really well. This one is a little bit different though, as the bottom kind of has a seam like a diagonal seam through it and it's a bit more flowy on the bottom compared to just a straight midi skirt and it also is a little bit longer. What I love about these satin midi skirts is that you really can dress them up or down. My favorite way is to kind of dress them down. So with like an oversized band t-shirt, kind of just tied in a knot and then with a pair of Converse or sneakers, I think it looks so cute and stylish. 
And then if you wanted to really dress it up, you can put on a nice top, some little strappy heels, super, super cute. Next, I have these knit pants and these are the coziest pants. So I picked up the size 10 and they are $25, which is like kind of more on the pricey side for Kmart clothing, but these are super thick. And as I said, just the coziest material. So they have so much stretch in them and they feel really heavy. So you know that they're just like a bit better quality. These pants actually come in a set with a matching hoodie jumper, but the jumper wasn't in stock. So I couldn't get it, but I really want to get it because it is just so bloody cozy and comfortable. And I have been living in these pants, just slopping around the house. I like that they're quite high waisted. I feel like the length fits me really well. I'm about 170, 171 centimeters. They're a really wide leg fit. So I just feel like that makes them like extra comfortable <laughs> because you don't have these super tight pants on when you want to be a little piggy on the lounge eating chips and watching Netflix. Next, I have a pair of boots. Now Kmart did release quite a wide range of boots this season, but I wasn't really into them for just like little reasons. But when I saw this pair, <laughs> oh my God. So these are the ribbed sock fit boots and look at those. Oh my God. So they've got quite like a medium heel. It's not a kitten heel, kitten heels really don't like but it's not like extremely high that it's going to hurt your foot after 10 minutes of wearing it has a really nice pointy toe which is what i love and this ribbed hopefully you can see it yeah that ribbed material and what i love is how high they come up so that's what gets me about boots i don't like like that mid-rise i like when they come nice and high up the ankle and these i think are just so sleek and sexy I would like to pair them with. Okay, first, first outfit <laughs> is the jeans. They would just look so cute with the jeans, even with like, again, a baggy oversized um, band t-shirt, maybe with a blazer. That would be super cute. I saw on Pinterest, a lot of people wearing sock boots with like little mini skirts and a coat. <gasps> oh my God, just super cute. I can't wait. I'm so excited that we can finally start going out a little bit more because I am going to get a lot of wear out of these during the cooler months. They are just so cute. I got the size nine because I have quite a large foot and they were $25. Next, I have a few accessories starting off with these earrings. They are called the heavy textured hoop earring and this is what they look like. As you can see, they've got texture <laughs> as described they're not a super big hoop just like a medium size they can be a little bit heavy if you wear them for quite a long time i went out to dinner and wore them one night and then went to put them in again the next day and i was like "Ooh, my ear holes were a little sore but i love the gold color and just think they're a nice way to dress up a pretty basic outfit Next is this knotted pink, well, it's kind of like a peachy headband. The color did look a little bit different online. This looks more neon in real life to me, whereas online it was more of a baby pink. So I'm not sure that I absolutely love it, but I do love the style with the knot and the thick sides. Yeah, it's just the color. What do you think? Does it go with my hair? I don't know if like it's a bit too... Like it clashes a bit too much. But anyway, it was only $5, so if I don't wear it, it's not that big of a loss. Also, the earrings were only $4. Next, I have this mock suede cap, and this was $6. These are my favorite caps at Kmart. I just find the way they fit your head is really nice compared to some of the other caps that they have in stock. I have been buying these for years. I've got khaki, light gray, a baby pink. I've had a navy blue in the past, and now I've got this nice bone color. They did change the back though. It used to be like the, the pop, you know, the little pop things, but this has like the metal, metal clip that you pull. I just love wearing caps for when Clinton and I go out exploring. Always got to be sun safe. And as I said, I just really like the fit. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but if you go to Kmart and try on a few of the caps, you'll see what I mean. And then next, I picked up this pom-pom beanie. I have been so excited to get a beanie because I've had short hair for so long. 
and whenever I put a beanie on, I just looked bald. So I have been super, super excited to get one and be able to have my hair hang out of it. Like, oh. This was only $9. It's a nice, thick, woolly material. This does come all the way down. You can fold it up. Oh, yeah. As I said, it's nice and thick. The quality feels really nice. And this style of beanie come in quite a few different shades, like some really nice shades. There was like a mustard, like an eggplant. I think there was also the green shade. But yeah, really, really nice. And I'm really excited to have a beanie back in my life. And then from the like cosmetics area, I picked up this e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Flirty Birdie. Now I'm hoping this is going to be very similar to the Stila liquid um, eyeshadows because they are hella expensive. And this was only $10 and the shade looks very similar to one that I already own. Let's give it a little swatch, shall we? It seriously looks exactly like the one, the Stila one I put on my eyes today. Ooh, oh, oh, seriously, come on. Okay, that's the Elf. Here is the Stila one in the shade Bronzed Bell that I put on my eyes today. Okay, a little bit darker, but seriously, the sheen and the glitter in both of them, quite similar. Oh my gosh, so excited to test that out. And then I also picked up... <laughs> Some silk dental floss, very random, I know, but I saw that this is eco-friendly. It's made with a biodegradable silk. It's vegan-friendly wax. The floss dispenses directly from a recyclable carton, and the carton is printed with vegetable ink. So like, oh, okay, it's actually in the box. Oh, that's cool. Like, it doesn't come out in a little plastic thing. Kmart also has some like cotton buds or like Q-tips that are more environmentally friendly as well. They're not made with plastic there. I think they're just like paper stems, but they're so affordable and it's such an easy switch to make and it's better for the environment. So why not try it? Why not test it out? Um, yeah, never thought I would be hauling floss on my channel, but here I am. And then lastly, I have a few containers to show you. First up is this one here, and it is the lid organizer from the kitchen section. So as you can see, it's got the three big compartments. I have drawers in my kitchen, like big pull-out drawers, and it's just, you know what like a container cupboard is like, the Tupperware cupboard, it's always just horrendous. So this has been really helpful. I stack all the containers like in their matching stacks and then put the lids in here. And it's just been a really nice way to keep the drawer looking tidy. And then I have a few of these clear drawers. So these are some of my absolute favorite organization pieces from Kmart. That is a bigger one. And here I have a thinner, smaller one. So I use these all around my house. I've got them in my pantry, in my beauty room, in my bathroom cupboard. They come in a ton of different sizes and they are just so good for organizing. So in this small one, I've got hair clips and bobby pins and a few hair ties. So it's just a nice way to keep that super tidy. Also in the cupboard, I have a bigger one full of all my scrunchies and my headbands. These are a really good way to store makeup and beauty products. This one I actually use to keep some hair stuff in. So I've got my hair dryer, some hair brushes and a few other hair tools. These range from like two to seven dollars, I think, depending on the size. And it's just such a nice, tidy way to organize everything. And I love having everything matched. That way I can kind of mix it throughout the house if I need some extra storage here or here. You know how it is. So that is everything I have picked up from Kmart over the last couple of months. I am so excited to go back into store when everything is fully stocked and have a good look around. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as I said, I will link my Kmart playlist down in the description box so you can go and binge on a bunch of Kmart related videos. Well, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.